Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free in Toulon. As you know, the new mobile link system has come out from Ryobi, and it is making everybody super excited. Everybody's going out, they're getting the tools, they're getting the tool organizers, they're getting the link system on the walls. I think it's a great system. Whenever they came out with the link mobile system, I had one big idea in mind, is I wanted a mobile workstation, not just a mobile tool storage system, and that requires a top. Well, I've done that, I've created feet for it, I've created everything that you need for this to be successful, for you to haul your tools, um, and to manage, and really to do whatever you want to on this. So let's pull it in. I'm going to tell you all about it. I'm very excited about this. So you're probably wondering what makes this all possible. Well, if you've watched my other videos, I've actually created a universal wall mount, and this or a link mount, so you can mount anything you want to on the new link system wall. And I've got a lot of orders for it, and people really like it because it's helping out a lot of people use a lot of the stuff that they've previously used for the organization systems for that wall. But for this, this is a bit different. This is the new one. So all this is is a clip that I designed, and you're able to fit it on the back of a board just like this. And I can do these in all different kinds of colors, but uh, it just mounts to the back of a board. You set it down, it snaps in, and basically you're good to go. And I think it goes without saying that this will fit on the regular wall mounted link system. It's great for storage and it just sticks right there. On the mobile system, we really had to solve for a couple of mold issues that Link has with the tops of these. Now this is a soft plastic. It isn't you know, a fiber impregnated plastic, which they use for the wall system, which is a lot stronger and it's more uniform. This has a lot more flexibility to it, so we had to create something that didn't latch in just as hard for this. We actually had to create something that was a little bit looser. It slid in to where it was locking. But we had to make sure that it stayed up here, and this is how we solved for that. If you look at the back of this board right here, you can see that I have a little bit of uh, um, a little 3D printed box. Well, that's not exactly what it is. As it looks like this on the inside, it looks like that on the outside. It's actually a nut retainer. So that slides right in there just like that. And then we take a piece of all thread or 3 8 inch. We slide it through and let's just get a close-up of it. Okay, so here's the top of the link system, the back of it. I just set this down right back here. It slides in place, and you pop it right in. Now, if you're carrying something heavy, this would have a tendency to move backwards. So, the type of latching system that this has, it doesn't really allow you to do much, but there's a lip on the back side here. You can see that right there. You can see it all around here, too. So, what we do, as we slide this in place and then all we have to do is just finger tighten it you don't want to damage the plastic and look at this it's not going anywhere right so that retains this on top so you can really put whatever you want to now the biggest thing that I wanted to do is really haul some things that um, I wanted to be able to take off as a package um, and put back on as a package or take this whole thing off so I had a really good idea, so I started putting slots here. Now these are for straps because I want to be able to strap things to the top of this as well as mount things to it. So let's check that out. So I made the holes big enough to where I could use a universal mounting strap. And that's what this is. This is a Husky. And all you need to do is feed it through here. Okay, now you have your straps in place. So you just lock it in. It's in place. And this is what I wanted to take places, is my little vacuum. So all I do is take it, it's got the quick clips here, as you can see. So it's going to clip it, that's in, we'll tighten it down, make sure that's not going anywhere, tighten this one. Okay, so you're good to go, pull up the handle. And away we go. Check that out. It's not moving at all. It's strapped on. But you could do this with just about anything that you would want to do it with. And it's just as easy to unhook it. We 
because it is this type of strap. Take it off, go wherever you want with it. Now, I thought that was really great. Now, you could essentially mount whatever you wanted to to this as well, right? So you could put a vise on here. You could uh, just do whatever. It's wood, right? So now technically you could strap this if you were going to take it off at a job site, but I wasn't really interested in that. If I was going to take it, I wanted to be able to mount it to the board. And now all we do is we take this, we slide it in, push it forward. Now we're locked in. Just to make sure, yep. And now this is where this really comes in handy. So we tighten this down and now we're good to go. But we had to solve for another issue as well, right? So with the mounting position, you can see that I can't go up and down, but if I, if I pull the saw forward with the position that we're in, we are able to go ahead and lower it and then at that point, we're able to do whatever we want to with the miter saw. And one of the cool features about this, since it locks in place, well, you can actually still open it. You can get to any of the parts or screws that you need inside, and it just stays right in place. It's not really going anywhere. I'll just even hold this. As you can see, it is solid, and it is on there, which is absolutely awesome. So everyone, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and you enjoyed this really cool new workbench that you can put on top of these link systems. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sell a kit that's going to have all the feet in it, just like this. And I'm going to have the nut retainer in there as well. Or if you don't want to build the mobile workbench top yourself, I'm actually going to sell this as a full kit. Um, I'm going to route out all of the traveling and strap holes for it. Um, I'm actually going to pre-drill the holes for the sliding miter saw as well. Um, and I'm just going to have everything assembled and I'll send it right to you as a kit. Now all of the edges on here, um, they are routed out and they're rounded, so they're stronger. And for anyone that's interested, just jump down in the description. I have a link to my eBay store and that's where I sell everything. It's quick, it's easy, and it's secured payment as well. That's why I love using eBay. If you all enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I really hope to see you in the next video.